Thousands of young and underage girls become child brides at the very formative years of their lives in many cultures around the world. Instead of them growing up gracefully under the watchful eyes, care and love of their parents and guidance of their teachers in school. In many cases, most of these girls end up in very pathetic situations with children strapped to their backs, no jobs or means of livelihood and nobody to tend to, not even the men who took them as wives. Many girls in Ghana, especially those found in the Zungus, are faced with similar challenges. Amina Ismail Daru, at age 12, was given out in marriage just as her elder sister was as tradition demands in their culture. Amina's sister had excellent grades in SHS and would have gotten admission into the university. She was given out into marriage and is now out but with a child, education truncated, with no skills and no job. Amina said no to child marriage and it paid off. I lost my daddy at a younger age and when I was with my mommy, my, could, my mommy couldn't take care of me. So she came to give me to an uncle. So I was with my uncle and my, I told my uncle I wanted to go back to school. I went to school, I started my school at Al Walid Basic School. One day I came back from school, he told me he wants to have a talk with me. So I went with him and he told me that he can see I'm now mature enough to go in for a marriage. But for everything he has been doing for me, is from someone's pocket. But for now, the man is in for me. I was very unhappy and angry. I didn't know what to do. So um, I decided to run out of the house. Around 12 a.m., there was this man around the area. He saw me around the midnight and he was like, what am I doing by that time of the night? I tried to tell him my background, why I'm outside by that time. So he tried to help me. I went with him, he also has other kids, so I was with them for one week. So for the past days, I've, I've been absent in school. And my class teacher was Mohammed Zulkanayn Amadu. I wrote a letter to him. He came in to help me. Now tucked into school and is pursuing general art in Nifa Senior High School in the Eastern Region, Amina's decision and actions have saved a lot of other girls in similar situations in her community. I got out some of my friends in the classroom and I tell them my experience and what I've been through. There are some people around me that also go through the same things, but they didn't get anybody to help them. So I decided, why not we form a girls club, we come together and we talk about what as girls or women we can do to prevent early marriage in our community. The activities of Achievers Ghana Education began with the rescue of Amina in the herb of Nima, a slum suburb of Accra, some five years ago. Achievers Ghana Education is a non-governmental, non-profit organization on a mission to rescue young girls from early marriage and give them a future. Achievers Ghana Education has a membership of 250 plus young girls between the ages 7 and 16. These girls are taught skills that would help them develop and are encouraged and supported to stay in and finish school. Our aim in Achievers Ghana is even if a child should go in for marriage, we should make sure at least she gets to the university level. That will I think she, that, that child will get some experience and idea on how to take care of herself. The girls are empowered with education through scholarships, leadership and mentorship, ICT education and skills development. Thanks to Amadou Mohamed, the director of Achievers Ghana Education, who himself is a son of a Kayayu. Mr. Amadou says, through community sensitization on the need to educate girls and women, the foundation has been able to chalk many successes. Initially it was Achievers Book Club, so that we bring in the girls to read, to know their rights. And as time goes on, you see that there are so many problems 
and then the girls keep on coming and that's where we come by with Achievers Ghana. Presently we have 250 girls that we are taking care of, sponsoring their education, their fees, their books, uniforms and then we believe that um, for the world to be at peace, a female child needs to be well educated to become a responsible citizen in the future. Mr. Madu Muhammad believes that these girls can achieve whatever they set their minds to if given the needed support. This place is like a social center. Every day they come here, they do their homeworks, they do a lot that is supposed to help change their life. We do drama, we do poems. It's all about leadership, how a female will grow up to become responsible. We believe I just going to school and not learning how to talk in public, you can defend your rights. And that is what we normally do. Leaders in the community were grateful and lauded the initiative of the foundation to help salvage young girls from early marriage, educate and give them a second chance. 70% of funding for these girls is generated from support within the community and benevolent individuals from elsewhere. The rest comes from international sources such as Global Fund for Children and Yazi Foundation based in Holland.